guys, it's Abby with Gem Environmental and I'm back to do another fun experiment with you guys today. As always, let's make sure that we are being super, super safe in the lab. We're covered from head to toe, which means we've got goggles on, we've got our hair back, we've got lab coats on, gloves on, and no exposed skin anywhere. Today, that's going to be especially important because we're going to be working with flammable substances that if you get caught or if you touch anything, it might be dangerous for your skin or your clothing to catch on fire. Let's also make sure that we don't have any food, drink, or water inside the lab and that we're not ingesting any of the dangerous chemicals or fluids that we see in the experiment today. So as always, if you do decide to do this experiment, make sure that you have a parent or guardian present at all times because again, we're going to be working with flammable substances and it can be kind of dangerous. So now that we've got all that covered, let's talk about the experiment we're going to do today. If any of you guys have ever seen a snake firework that maybe expands and you catch it on fire and it slithers around, that's what we're going to be doing today. So this really cool science experiment has been used in many different cultures. In India, they call it the Pharaoh Serpent or Black Snake, and in Germany, they use this firework called Pharaohschlagen that is pretty much the same thing, but just with more chemicals. Let's go over some of the materials that we're going to use today. So we're going to be using a bowl of sand that's going to be in a fire safe container. We're going to be using sugar and baking soda mixed together. We're going to be using lighter fluid. We're going to also be using a lighter in order to catch the snake on fire. So before we start the experiment, let's recognize once again that lighter fluid and fire together can be very dangerous and we do not want to be unsafe during this experiment. Once the snake has started to form, you cannot pour more lighter fluid on it or try to catch it on fire again as this can also be very dangerous. Let's also make sure that we are not ingesting any of the materials that we use today. Finally, if you do decide to do this experiment, wait to clean up the results until you're absolutely sure that they're not hot anymore. So I would wait about an hour until after the snake has stopped forming. Let's make sure that we are following the rules and procedures exactly so that we don't end up with any bad mishaps. So let's go over the procedures in order to create our fire snake. So first, you're going to add four teaspoons of sugar into a bowl. Then you're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda to the sugar. Okay, make sure it is all mixed together. Next, you're going to be filling a bowl that is fire safe with sand, probably about almost to the top. So now that we've got our baking soda and sugar mixture, we are ready to douse the sand in a good amount of lighter fluid. Make sure you are getting it all over the sand. We're gonna make sure to put the cap back on so that we don't have to worry about spilling and then remove it from the table to reduce any fire hazards. Okay, and now we're going to place the baking soda and sugar mixture in a pile on top of the sand. Try to concentrate it to one area. So now we're gonna very carefully light the mixture on fire. So if you guys can see, um, there are already small balls forming on top of the mixture, which is the chemical reaction that's caused by the fire and the mixture of lighter fluid, baking soda, and sugar. This part is especially important that you're staying a safe distance away while the lighter fluid is catching and you're not inhaling any of the fumes that are being created by the reaction. Okay, so now let's talk about what's exactly going on with this chemical reaction. So when the mixture burns, the baking soda is gonna get really, really hot and it's decomposing, which means it's being broken down by the chemicals to release carbon dioxide gas. A lack of oxygen within the sugar from the combustion because when fire is being created, it sucks up all the oxygen. So the lack of oxygen creates carbonate, just a chemical compound made of carbon, and water vapor, which is just the gaseous form of water. The pressure from the CO2 gas that's being built up in the chemical reaction is going to push the carbonate out from the snake, which will make the entire reaction grow and keep growing for about 20 minutes.
So this carbon sugar snake is the product of three chemical reactions that all depend on the heat that we added using the lighter. When sugar combusts in the presence of oxygen, it creates carbon dioxide and water vapor, like we mentioned before. And the pressure within the reaction causes the carbonate to grow and expand until we get the carbon snake. So the sugar that is being heated up but doesn't have access to any oxygen is going to go through a thermal decomposition, which explains why there is black substance within the experiment. The baking soda also is decomposing in the heat and produces solid sodium carbonate, carbon dioxide gas, and water vapor. So not only is the black substance being created, but there's also water vapor and carbon dioxide gas that's being given off. All right guys, so as you can see, it's pretty much stopped growing at this point. And even though the flames are still present, I think that our experiment is just about done. And as you can see, it's not exactly what we expected. It's not the snake figure that we were hoping for, but you can see how big the black carbonate grew to because of the chemical reaction that took place. So if you do decide to do this experiment at home, make sure that you wait until all the flames are gone, which might take a little bit, and until you're absolutely sure that nothing is hot or flaming anymore, because I know the bowl is especially pretty hot. So yeah. This happens with science experiments. You know you can try it again, maybe try different shapes with the baking soda and sugar formation. You can add more lighter fluid, add less lighter fluid, but in the end, this is just how science goes sometimes. So if you guys really like this experiment or if you tried it at home, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our page. Thanks again for watching with us. I hope you had a good time and join back in with Gem Environmental. Bye.